I'm Stephanie and this is Snow Dome of the Day. Today's Snow Dome is a German dome with beautiful German Schnee inside of it. And it features a German landmark, the Castle Neuschwanstein. This is a castle of legends and a castle of many tourist visits. It's thought to be the inspiration for the castles at Disneyland and Disney World. It evokes all kinds of imaginative thoughts about a fairy tale world that, while it might not have ever existed in reality, might exist in our imaginations, in our dreams, in our ideas of a time that is not now. Well, I'm thinking about what goes on behind the scenes at places like Castle Neuschwanstein or in the Snow Dome collection. To keep your snow domes full, you might need a special pair of pliers to pull the plug on the bottom sometimes the top, so that you can get to an entry point where you can use a special small-tipped water bottle to add water to keep that snow floating. Today I'm thinking about what goes on behind the scenes, whether it be at a church like St. Paul Benson or our friends at Benson First Friday, a nonprofit in our neighborhood that works to promote the arts in the neighborhood. Like our church, up to now, most of their work has been in person, trying to invite people into the neighborhood to meet each other in person, in their case, to experience art in person. And like our congregation, they've had to reimagine how to reach out to people digitally. I'll be working to try to figure out how to showcase our Snow Dome devotions for their digital Benson First Friday in May. Perhaps in June, we'll offer a digital tour of our Paint by Number Museum at the church. There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes to help us find continuity in our faith journey in worship as we interact with the arts that are behind, for now, closed doors. There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes for you as you attempt and succeed in continuing to engage in relationships with your friends, your relatives, your neighbors, the people that you encounter behind a mask as you go out for essential items. Today, I give thanks for the infrastructure that is and is not there, that we are learning how to use for the power of people to adapt as we work behind the scenes to continue to engage one another, to interact with one another, to find spaces to worship, to find places to interact with one another and the arts. And don't worry, I'll be posting about Benson First Friday so that you can join us in that virtual experience that first Saturday in May. Thanks for being our friends, our friends that we don't actually see, but we know are there behind, amongst, in all of the scenes.